just uh, ended our regular summits of the Northern Corridor in Uganda just last week, and at the same time celebrated the independence of Uganda. We had just arrived uh, from New York with the United Nations General Assembly, which was also a very uh, uh, busy uh, week, week and a half in New York predominantly uh, discussions of uh, security in the United Nations with various conflicts around the world. We talked about climate change, we talked about peacekeeping, and from there we had, uh, we Rwanda had just been to Atlanta for our, one of our Rwanda days. <coughs> uh, day of the uh, election in the United Nations Security Council for the uh, upcoming five non-permanent uh, uh, five non-permanent members joining the council, Rwanda will be completing its uh, term on the council at the end of uh, December. So we're coming to an end of our participation in the UN Security Council. We have learned quite a lot. We hopefully have modestly contributed as well. Uh, we expect Angola to take over from Rwanda as we alternate uh, between East Africa and Southern Africa. Angola has received the support of the continent to uh, take the seats, the seat, one seat that will be vacated by Rwanda at the end of uh, December. So the vote should be, if not on as we speak in, in the next uh, couple of hours, um, Nigeria and Chad had one more year left as the African countries uh, on the UN Security Council. We have also, uh, uh, I think as, as you, as I've actually seen from you all reporting, some issues uh, related to the bodies found in Lake Rueda in Burundi. We, we have uh, witnessed uh, in the last two weeks, uh, level of outrage vis-a-vis -vis the uh, documentary, I don't know if that's called a documentary, but a document produced uh, by some director and uh, journalist and aired on BBC Two on October 1st. Um, as you can imagine, I and many other Rwandans are not happy about it for good reason. Uh, we think that documentary is uh, politically motivated, it is badly done, it is a lineup of the who's who of Rwanda's enemies, um, and you can expect uh, Rwanda to, at, at the time of its choosing, to uh, react with the same weight as the offense to this country, its leadership, and the people of Rwanda. So other than that, uh, we all have been following the uh, Ebola crisis, not just in <coughs> West Africa now, but in many other parts of the world as well. We continue as a government and a country to raise the level of our preparedness. We have had a team working on uh, uh, handling the crisis at the level of Rwanda in different uh, ways to prepare. Hopefully nothing will happen. We have had a uh, few, quite several people um, quarantined from the beginning and thankfully uh, no case has emerged as uh, um, an infected person. So our system, our health system and preparedness is working. We have also set up that same commission that has been working on helping this country deal with uh, this, this uh, epidemic, uh, if, if it's an epidemic at this point, uh, given it more strength and, and it's, it's actually meeting today as we speak. So there's a lot going on. I now uh, 
uh, leave the floor to you and I'm ready for your questions. I have exactly 30 minutes. Uh, I'll be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Minister. Mudi muri chunge rumushi rumushi na cha ha mpu uburundi yafu sepo yuki kani kubita na tume prabuga yuko mina mbaya wana sisi mchea na kuero kwa yadi tu tume guanda kwa shaka shaka kwa gara gashe nuko yafu sepo yuko machine yeye wondo kushaka shaka sisi game bisha biyo mwenye 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 I'd appreciate if we could get one question per person, not, not bundled questions, so that we can give the opportunities to as many of you to respond. Yes, Stephanie? Uh, <coughs> Et euh, voilà, je vais connaître l'état national dont les, les États-Unis ont appelé le Rwanda et le Burundi à enquêter avec l'expert indépendant. Mm -hmm. euh, le Burundi a, a accepté. Qu'en est-il du Rwanda Est-ce qu'il y a des discussions en cours Et est-ce qu'on sait plus sur l'identité de ces personnes Merci. Right. Uh, <coughs> my name is Michael Kiche. I work for Contact FM. Specifically, my question is to do with the BBC documentary. My question is, what is the way forward? Should BBC defy the codes to apologize to all Rwandans and the one who come out? Thank you. My name is Ivan Shak uh, from New Times. I just one question. Um, we've had cases uh, uh, about where the, the, the South African government is denying visas to Rwandans who wish to travel to South Africa. I'd like to know uh, the reaction to that and what is the current state of the diplomatic ties between Rwanda and South Africa. One more. <laughs> Marcoze, thank you very much. Um, I try and respond in both languages. It's the same question. Um, three things ikambere <laughs> agaruka mu Rwanda natwe twagerageje kureba cyo ni cyambere nta na kimwe kigaragaza ko iri amirambo yabonetse mu mu kiyaga cyarweru ari abanyarwanda cyangwa se yaturutse mu Rwanda nta na kimwe ikindi nuko ntabwo mbona ukuntu habiperereza ku kibazo gishobora kuba cyarakomotse mu Rwanda ku kiyaga dusangiye turi ibihugu bibiri u Rwanda rukaba rutaragiye muri iryo perereza twebwe mu Rwanda twasabye u Burundi kubaha ubufasha kuko ahabonetse ikibazo ni kuri ku butaka bw'u Burundi ku mazi y'u Burundi no ku butaka 
kugeza ubu u Burundi ntiburasubiza nta mpamvu nimwe twibaza ko u Burundi bwakwanga gukorana n'u Rwanda kuko ntabwo dushaka kumenya neza kiriya kibazo icyari cyo naho cyaturutse tudakoranye ntibishoboka turizera rero yuko u Burundi i dosi gifunguye igikomeza kugira ngo tubashe kumenya icyabaye twebwe nk'u Rwanda nk'igihugu murumva neza ko twifuza kumenya bari aba naho yaba ari umuntu umwe twakwifuza kumenya icyamwishe uwamwishe twakubiza kumenya uwariwe ibyo gyeho numvise mu itangaza makuru irya yejo numbaga mu byukuri ari perereza ryo kumenya uko umugezi wa Kagera ukugenda hunyura ntabwo nigeze numba hari uvuga abo bantu abari bo cyo bazize waba yarabishe ni bangahe rimwe bavuga ko ari bane ubundi ni batandatu ubundi ni mirongo ine birasaba rero yuko abantu ba bashyira mu gaciro bagakorana nta mpamvu nibaza ko urundi butakwifuza gukorana natwe twara gukisabye kuva mu kwezi kwa munane ku nzego nyinshi ntabwo rero mu gihe twibaza ko dukwiye gukorana ngo tumenye cyabaye ngo ndibaza ko ari uburundi ari urwanda twese twifuza kumenya abo bantu bavuga bazizi iki nibande umushinja cyah rero kuvuga ko ari abanyarwanda ntabwo raporo yiperereza twe tuyifite sinzi mwe bwe ndo mwarayibonye ntabwo ntabwo biriye mu shinja cyaha buza ribyo ika rero dukomeze tukorane nabarundi nabaturanyi nabavandimwe ture guko ikibazo gihagaze ni ni cyagiteye kubijyanye na u Rwanda mu kanama kisi ku mutekano eh iyi myaka hafi giye ku bibiri umwe n'igice urenga cyabaye giye kiza kuri twebwe nk'igihugu ndetse nk'umugabane wa Afrika kurushaho kumva ukwisikora kuko kari akanamba ku mutekano niho haganirwa ibintu byinshi cyane cyane niho umuntu abonera bihugu bihugu bikomeye uko bikorana n'ibindi bihugu kwisi twahigiye byinshi rero ni byiza cyane kuri twebwe nk'igihugu n'abakozi bacu muziko twari twarongeyemo n'abakozi muri ambassade yacu kugira ngo tubashe gukurikirana no gukoresha ingano zacu neza twahigiye byinshi ndibaza ko mu buryo bwacu bukeya twatanze n'umusanzu nk'igihugu kwakurikiranye cyane cyane ibibazo bya Afrika ariko umutekano ku isi murabona yuko hari mu bibazo byinshi si muri Afrika gusa hirya no hino ku isi hari bibazo bikomeye imwe mu nama twagiyemo mu muri ako kanama ku mutekano nijyanye n'ikibazo kitera bwo cha ISIS twaganiriye nigiye twari muri zinama za Rondi muri New York mu cyumweru gishize n'icyakibangirije ibibazo bya Republika ya Central Africa kibazo cya South Sudan kibazo cya Mali izo nama zose twari tuzirimo mu Rwanda ndetse hamwe muziko dufite yo ningabo zirinda mahoro ikibazo rero cy'umutekano ni kibazo gikomeye kuba tuhamaze umwaka n'igice urenga ni byiza cyane kuri twebwe nk'igihugu twishimiye kuzasimburwa n'igihugu cy'inshuti cyangwa tuzakomeza gukorana n'ibihugu cyane cyane byose uko biri mu kare ya kanama ariko cyane cyane gukomeza gutanga umusanzu ku bindi bihugu bya Afrika I think the next question was uh, on the um, BBC documentary. Well, uh, a few things. First of all, um, as I mentioned in the introduction, that uh, 
document is not about it's not about informing, it's not about critiquing, it's not about uh, challenging uh, history, it's about revising history, uh, the history of this country in many different ways, including the genocide. Um, we we're trying to find out how that uh, a film was put together. We want to understand who's who. Uh, we want to understand why um, anybody worthy of the name of filmmaker or journalist, let alone a network like the BBC, would want to be the platform uh, for that, that kind of uh, film. That's one. So we, we're trying to understand, we're, we're trying to find out. We, as I've said, uh, have received many, many complaints from citizens of this country. Uh, myself, as a government spokesperson, have received many questions uh, of citizens who don't understand, who want to know what the government is doing about it. But I think it's important to do our homework first. and. Uh, you have also seen from a number of uh, scholars and um, others um, really uh, putting the BBC to task to explain how that film came to be given uh, the platform that it was given. I think it's very clear that um, it's, we need to, to understand one thing. And that is that um, this country is where it is not by accident. This country is where it is because of the work done by Rwandans under the leadership of Paul Kagame, the current president of Rwanda. He is the choice of Rwandans. He's not the president of the BBC. He's not answerable to nobody else but the people of this country. Um, those who don't like it, tough luck. He, he is the choice of Rwandans. We look at him as, as, a, as a formidable leader. He has something to show for that. Um, and we don't mind that uh, some people would not agree with uh, what the leadership of this country does or, or don't even like the leadership of this country. But unfortunately for them, Rwanda is in Rwanda. Rwanda is not in the bushes of the Congo. Rwanda is not in a studio in, in London. Rwanda is here in Rwanda. So really, uh, besides the malice in, in the film, uh, which I think at some point somebody will have to answer for that, uh, it's clear that Rwanda cannot be uh, derailed by a film uh, which, you know, as I mentioned earlier, has been done and put together in a way that uh, is quite unusual for, for, for any film. So we, of course, associate ourselves with uh, the many citizens of this country, the many friends of Rwanda, citizens of the United Kingdom, scholars the world over that have been questioning how this film was made and how it was given uh, such uh, visibility uh, by the BBC. And of course, we, we reserve the right uh, as a country, as a nation, as a leadership, as a government to uh, give appropriate response uh, to that film. On, uh, on the uh, question of uh, 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 South Africa, you will remember that uh, diplomats uh, from both the Rwandan embassy in Pretoria and the South African embassy in Rwanda were recalled uh, earlier this year. And obviously, it's difficult for uh, the head of mission to be handing uh, an embassy, including 
becoming a visa officer. So it's difficult uh, to 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 deal with uh, consular matters when the the, the uh, diplomatic uh, um, personnel has been uh, removed. So it's understandable. We have, uh, as we've mentioned, I think before, uh, been engaging with the with the government of South Africa. We about uh, bringing the relationship back where it was uh, before the fugitives uh, fled to South Africa. So we what we are working on it. Uh, some of these discussions are not necessarily out in the media, but uh, we are talking uh, about uh, restoring relations. Meanwhile. Of course, um, you know, when countries uh, uh, have tension, there are consequences. And I think the issues uh, being encountered with uh, people who want to travel uh, have to do with, uh, with the fact that uh, there are no diplomats to, to, to work on the, on the consular matters. But that should be restored soon. Uh, I would be surprised anybody would make that mistake. Tumba, yawa bitanga je mono yive seiko ya sidi chere chere bichangwa na chere na ya teru kwa nda turi tiburundi na handi kuindi mi paka bara jira jira kondomba na chobja jizeho chere tuna itegu yetu kwenye kurwanda asisi jira tu itegu yeye. We fuje iko bataha hamanya kwanda baza bafite intwaro baza nta ntwaro bafite byabe byose turabiteguye ariko ibyo kuba batera urwanda cyangwa se batera abatutse mu Burundi na bigomba kuba ari biri mu itangaza makuru ntabwo nzaho byaturutse ntabwo ngiye mbise yes ah tando j'ai répondu la, à la question en Kinyarwanda, j'ai oublié. Euh, alors, euh, les propos du, du procureur euh, burundais, euh, d'abord, euh, euh, nous n'avons pas été saisis officiellement par le Burundi, donc euh, nous ne sommes pas sûrs. Euh, ce que nous savons, c'est ce que vous savez aussi, ce que nous avons appris à, à travers... Euh, la radio burundaise il y a deux jours. Euh, euh, ces, propos ne, euh, ces propos sont faux. Parce que, euh, d'abord, moi, d'après ce que j'ai entendu, euh, je ne vois pas, euh, pas d'éléments qui euh, montrent euh, en aucune manière à part euh, le cours que suit la rivière euh, à Kagera, je, je n'ai rien appris d'autre. Euh, je pense que ce qui est important, et pour le Burundi, et, et surtout aussi euh, pour tous ceux qui donnent de la valeur à la vie humaine, c'est de, de savoir euh, qui sont ces corps qui ont été retrouvés, euh, qui sont responsables, qui est responsable, ça, je ne sais pas si vous avez des éléments, mais nous, nous n'en avons pas. Tout ce qu'on a appris avec le procureur, c'est que, euh, apparemment, euh, vu le cours suivi par la rivière à Kagera, euh, qui, qui effectivement euh, verse dans le lac Ruru à partir du Rwanda, euh, que ce sont des corps de Rwandais. Euh, moi, je pense que c'est faux. Depuis que nous avons... Euh, euh, commencé à nous intéresser à la question, nous avons, euh, nous avons saisi euh, le Burundi, nos collègues à différents niveaux, nous avons demandé à collaborer, à apporter notre soutien à toute enquête qui se passerait au Burundi. Euh, je ne vois aucune raison pour laquelle le Burundi ne devrait pas collaborer avec le Rwanda parce que c'est la seule manière de savoir ce qui s'est passé. Euh, nous, en tant que pays, on n'est pas intéressé par euh, le cours de la rivière à Kagera. Nous sommes intéressés à savoir qui sont ces personnes, combien, euh, parce que quelquefois on, on parle de six, de quatre corps, d'une quarantaine de corps. Alors on, on est un peu perdu dans, dans la confusion. 
mais on, on s'intéresse beaucoup en tant que pays, en tant que gouvernement, en tant qu'être humain, on veut savoir, on veut savoir ce qui s'est passé. Et euh, je n'ai aucune raison de croire que le Burundi euh, ne va pas répondre à la demande du Rwanda. Nous demandons depuis, euh, depuis euh, je crois, la troisième semaine du mois d'août. Et nous espérons avoir une réponse positive du Burundi pour qu'on puisse vraiment savoir ce qui s'est passé. Euh, donc, euh, les propos du procureur à la radio, euh, pour moi, euh, je, je, nous ne donnons aucune valeur à, à ces propos parce que euh, ça ne suffit pas de dire les corps viennent du Rwanda. Basé sur quoi euh, Nous, nous savons que de notre côté, nous avons commencé à essayer d'enquêter. De, et, et je peux vous dire que... De, du côté du Rwanda, en tout cas, qui est le territoire que nous contrôlons, euh, nous n'avons rien trouvé. Mais nous, nous, nous attendons et nous espérons que euh, le Burundi va nous accorder la collaboration. Il n'y a aucune raison qu'on qu n'essaie pas de savoir exactement ce qui s'est passé. Au sujet de l'enquête internationale, la demande de la communauté internationale d'experts de, indépendants, elle parlait peut-être de la possibilité du FBI. Est-ce qu'il est qu y a des discussions je pense qu'avec ou sans euh, la, la collaboration ou, ou des experts internationaux, si le Burundi, qui est le territoire où, où, où euh, les corps ont échoué, euh, sans, sans la, 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 la corps et, et la participation active du Burundi, international ou local, ça ne change pas grand-chose. Mais le Rwanda d'emblée veut savoir, donc, euh, euh, si euh, nous avons la collaboration du Burundi, si... Ce que je pense euh, devra arriver euh, si nous avons besoin de, 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 de soutien euh, technique ou d'autres soutiens pour pouvoir savoir ce qui s'est passé. Nous, on est très intéressés en tant que pays à savoir ce qui s'est passé. Donc, euh, euh, mais euh, il faudrait que le pays euh, qui est concerné puisse euh, donner accès et, et collaborer. Je pense que euh, soutien international ou enquête internationale, vous avez toujours besoin du Burundi. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Minister. My question: you, You've been to New York, uh, like you said, and my question would be about impressions. We've had noises from uh, various people in the international community, the MONUSCO and others, about their so-called will to fight the FDLR and to make them, to disarm them by force or if they won't do it voluntarily, uh, force would be used. And we've seen them being given months, six months, one year, whatever. Now, what is, your, what is the impression you have as someone who is in the corridors in the UN? Uh, are those people genuine? Is the, is the noise this time we are hearing about the FDLR finally, uh, people getting tough on it, including uh, countries like the U.S. and others, actually something uh, that's going to be a reality this time around. Because we, we've had the noises, we've had promises before, and they've been dashed. Mm -hmm. And people have had to live with FDLR uh, as their neighbor uh, forever. Is this going to change? Well, Can I talk about this one? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, please. Just, just yeah, according to whatever any observer, things are not really, really moving, even since, since the, the New York meetings. Uh, we've, we've heard that there should be now, if they find at midterm that there hasn't been any, any progress, that they should go for the military option. But the big question would be also, who would do it? Who, because obviously the, the, the FIB was only there for the M23. Now they're out of the picture. Who wants to fight the FDLR? In fact, that is even the real question. Who wants to fight the FDLR? I've been asking the same question. <laughs> I think uh, that's one of the issues where I'm on the same page as the media. Uh, but um, yeah, I guess the, the response uh, to, to your question, Shaka, is, is, is really in your question. Uh, we, we've heard this before. The FDLR has been around for 20 years. And I, I can't recall any time where anybody said the FDLR is, 
it's a bunch of good guys and we should preserve them. Everybody says they should be eradicated, they should uh, um, uh, disarm, and it's been going on for many years. So uh, as far as the government of Rwanda is concerned, the FDLA has, uh, the shelf life of the FDLA has expired. Uh, it's, it's a problem that we should not be dealing with today. And uh, we, we have had a very simple policy for the FDNR for many, many years now, and that is to repatriate those who want to come home and reintegrate them. And we've done so successfully. More than 11,000 people have returned, including high-ranking officers in the current Rwanda Defense Force. Uh, and many ordinary citizens um, in our villages. So uh, really those who do not want to repatriate and reintegrate, uh, there's always been only one option and that is military action. So I think at this point, the only thing we can ask for one more time is uh, for countries to abide by the resolutions they have uh, voted, supported the decisions that have been made by various uh, organizations, regional and international. I would hope that the FDLI is not seen uh, as, as an issue for Rwanda. It should be an issue for all of us. It's, it's, a, it's an armed group that is associated with genocide and therefore I would hope everybody would want to fight the FDLR. So, at this point, uh, we are close to the review time. For Rwanda, really, it doesn't matter. Six months, six years, six days. Uh, what is needed is the political will. I don't think getting rid of the FDL at this point is even uh, a complicated uh, matter, militarily speaking. But uh, the politics of the region, uh, especially with the non-regional actors, having been what it's been uh, for the last 20 years, um, it's difficult for Rwanda to say that this time around uh, we, we are going to deal uh, robustly with, with the FDLR. But uh, what we can do as a country, what is in our power to do, is to, uh, is to make sure that uh, our borders and our country and our people are protected against the FDLR. And uh, trust me, we are ready. Perhaps one more question, and we close. Thank you very much. I'm Nkwema Wendimana for Reuters. I have uh, also a couple of questions about FDR. One. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what does Rwanda expect the UN, the African force, backed by the UN, to do, given the fact that there is Tanzanian troops, there is South African troops, and bilateral relations between Rwanda and both countries are not good. What Rwanda expect? Yes. Again, the FDLR should not be looked at as an issue for Rwanda. It's, it's an issue that, uh, if not dealt with, I think at this point, swiftly and decisively, uh, could cause instability in the region. So I would hope that uh, nobody benefits from instability even though uh, from the looks of it, we, we have had this problem for so many years now, uh, which doesn't seem to, to go away. But uh, our expectations as a country is uh, for people to abide by their word, what they have said they were going to do with this group. Uh, we, we have uh, created a global framework. We have uh, several uh, regional decisions we have UN resolutions, we have everything. So really, uh, I think it's past time that uh, you know, the, this genocidal group uh, should be taken care of and, and uh, hopefully for, for us, for Rwanda and for our region, um, for the DRC and other countries, uh, this hopefully is the time. If, if that is not the case, as I said, uh, Rwanda can only do what is in the power of Rwanda, and that is to protect our country and our people. And again, uh, I can assure you that Rwanda is ready.
Thank you very much. We will uh, try and meet again, uh, again uh, in uh, what maybe a month, month and a half, maybe before that. Thank you very much.